I think one of my favourite memories was scoring my first goal in Champions League. Um, that's one thing I'll say I was gassed about because not many people, not many people could say, "Oh, they've scored a goal in Champions League." So, get my first goal for the club. Leaving Charlton and going to Arsenal, how did that situation come about? Since that you weren't technically scouted because you said you took a break from football. So yeah. how was that going to play for Arsenal, such a big club as well? Yeah, so yeah, during that process, it was summertime. So when it's kind of weird, like that's when them sort of teams start having their trials. So um, the manager at the time for my boys team, he managed to get um, me an Arsenal trial out of nowhere. Initially, I wanted to go to Chelsea because it just made sense travelling wise. It wasn't too far, and it's Chelsea sort of thing. But he managed to get me an Arsenal trials, and my mum and dad were like, "Yeah, go," because it's rude not to go. He's gone out his way to do what he's doing. And then I just went there. I honestly, I just, I literally went there to to do the trial because the, he got me the trials yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I just smashed it. I, mean, I don't even know, I, just play, I was just literally having fun and just went from there really. Do you remember anything from then? Yeah, I just went there and they made us do like a little dribbling drill. But you know, like, it's funny because I knew they were talking about me because they're trying to whisper, but you know their whispers when it's loud. I know you're talking <laughs> about me, but you have to act like... You have to act like you don't know and then you hear them saying good comments, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and yeah. then we did a little dribbling drill and then afterwards we went straight into games and then I was just having fun with it and managed yeah. to get through. Here at 4258, we're proud to present you with the best football-specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel and also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting 4258. That's good stuff. So you, you ended up signing. How old were you when you signed? I was 12. 12 years old. Yeah, and then moving, moving forward, how quickly did your progress excel from there to go to? I mean, yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy journey. Like, I felt like I was quite consistent in games. I was quite big for my side, like for my age at the time. I was just having, I guess it was because I was having fun with it. And then I managed to make friends down there. That's how I know all Jade Bailey. Uh, Vian Sanson and a few other players so I was comfortable I was able to play my game and just enjoy it and then we just built from there really training with the first team and went on from there yeah the question I got told to ask you is how did you become how were you so good at a young age um, from Jade that's what she told me to ask you she said, how was I so good she said, how were, you, how were you so good at a young age? What, what, what do you think was the recipe for that? Um, I don't even know. I think it's just obviously natural ability and just... Like, my family, well, my brother and my cousin, they seen it from early, so they saw the natural ability and then we started training. And then, again, I've always played with the boys. I think playing with boys helps your development a lot because naturally they're stronger and fitter and fast as nothing can get against girls but that's just how it is mm -hmm. and because I've had that from an early age I think that's just enhanced my football like my technique and stuff from early and yeah I'd probably say that that's what's helped it helped me a lot yeah so um what, what was the game that you remember in your youth that you're like yeah I'm here I've arrived like I'm doing my thing like but what was that what was that game that you'd say? I'll probably say there was, 
a tournament we had, I don't even remember, I don't know where we were, like, I want to say Cornwall, some some mad place like that, I don't even know. Mm. And um, I was playing the under-14s, and I was just having fun again, ripping it, scored a couple of goals, and then I got told, ah, oh, go and play, we need you to go and play in the under-16s, go and help them out. And then I went over, I did the job, and I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it really. Yeah. I thought, oh, I'm it's on fire easy. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably it's too easy. But then, no, nah, that, that's that's big stuff though. Um, especially when you get called over to as a as a young player to go, you know, help the older players out and go go play with yeah. them. That's a that's a big thing. That's what everyone wants to do at that age, hundred percent. Um, who were who were your friends at that time in your age groups, and where where are they playing now? Uh, at the time, Bianca Bragg, she's she was playing. She doesn't currently play at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, Jade Bailey, she's at Liverpool. Leanne Sampson, um, I believe she's playing over in Italy. Um, it's mad that like, there's obviously more, but I can't even think now. Um, Caroline Weir, she came pretty late. She's at Man City. Um, who else is there? Dan Carter. As I got older, like in the older age group, she was cool. She was always nice to me. So yeah, she's at. She's currently at Reading now. Um, who else? There's probably more people, but I can't even think right now. That's oh, that, that's, that's a pool of very talented players, though. That goes to yeah. show Arsenal produces a lot of good talented players. Um, mm. Moving up to the first team, how was that for you? That that pro process and you know going to train for the first time with the first thing you remember it. Yeah, I I didn't even have no emotions to it, you know. I was just like, okay, sort yeah. of thing like okay, like I'm going training, but I wasn't like, oh my days, I'm going training. I think I was just like, it's like another training session. And then I remember I was there, and I was just I don't know because I I came late into the women's games. So I didn't. I didn't see them as my idol or anything. You know, like it's a young boy who used to see Ronaldo, he'd be like, oh my God, I can't tackle Ronaldo or something. I didn't see them like that because I was just like, okay, sort of thing. And then um, I just remember I was training and I must have barged somebody. Like, it was either Gemma Davidson or Rachel mm-hmm. Yankee. And then Emma Byrne came up to me. She's like, oh, they're not going to like that. Or she must have been, I don't know, saying a little joke. And I was like, I'm literally here just to train and play football. Like, if you want to barge me, you can try and barge me, sort of thing. But yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. After that, I just they just started talking to me, and it just went from there, really. Yeah, that's how it is. Always, it always is like that when you go up and play with the first team. You know, it's ah, you know, treat them with respect. But I think the only way to get their respect is if you kind of treat them like normal people. You know. Yeah, I, I think that's what helped me as well because I. I didn't care. Like, I was just like, all right, yeah, we're training. And I, I do that normally with the, my normal age groups. So why wouldn't I do it with you guys? Sort of thing, so. Yeah, 100%. Were you um, one of the first to, to kind of take the step for your age group and go up and uh, train with the, with the first? No, I think there was a few people. I think, like, because they're slightly older, but in the same age group, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I think... It must have been that like Bianca, there was Brooke who went up, then um, Jade went, uh, I went a few couple of months later. Like, there was loads of people that went before me, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, um, training with them and now you're with them uh, to play, did you still have the same feeling? Did you were like, it is what it is, like, I'm just playing football? When I was playing with them? Yeah, like, actually, now you're going to go play an actual game with them. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like I, I don't know what was wrong with me. When I was young, I just didn't have... <laughs> I didn't have no emotion in terms of, oh, my God, I'm playing with them. Or I think I just thought, oh, yeah, it's just a normal game. Now, like, if I was to go back, I might have been... I don't know. I feel like I would have been the same. Like, I just wasn't excited, like, how most people would have been, like, oh, my God, I'm playing with so-and-so. I was just like... I want to get this win. Let's go out there. If I'm, if I come on, I need to do like I used to just mentally prepare myself so I know what I'm gonna do if I come on. Know what I'm gonna do if I'm starting, and that's about it. That's I didn't really think about 
I'm going to play with them. I had to prepare myself sort of thing, so. Yeah, I think I know what kind of syndrome you had. Like, I had it a little bit myself. Like, it's like when you're excelling at, you know, at a rate and every, everything you're doing is, is, is going good for you and you're just yeah. breaking down barriers and everything you're doing is going well and everything like that. You don't think about it too much. It's just natural. It's in your rhythm. It's in your stride. Yeah. So, then, you know, when you're doing things at that young age, which is big, you know, to play for mm. the first team, Matt. How old were you when you made your debut? I think I was either 18 or 19. Yeah, 18 still, that's like a, that's a you know, young age. And uh, being with the first team before that, you know, people don't realise until you come out of that, like what that actually was, you know. So um, yeah. what, what kind of memories do you have playing for Arsenal at the time? Um, I think one of my favourite memories was scoring my first goal in Champions League. Um, yeah. That's one thing I'll say I was gassed about because not many people, not many people could say, "Oh, they've scored a goal in Champions League." So, get my first goal for the club for Champions League. That was good. Um, winning the FA Cup. I mean, it was annoying that I never got on, but I scored goals leading to get us through to the round. So, even that, that was a that was a crazy moment. Um, with Arsenal, um, what else? I want to say there's a few others, but I can't think right now. Those are the two that stick out for me. So you you scored in the Champions League. Who was that against? Boy, I could not pronounce the name even if I tried. I'm sorry. What it was country? in Kazakhstan. It was in Kazakhstan. Okay. Um, do I know any teams in Kazakhstan? I know one team. I think I know someone who plays for a team in Kazakhstan. I wouldn't be able to tell you their name. I know... Yeah, I so my name. Them, what colour was the I kit? I can't remember the name. I, listen, for when I scored, you think I... I don't remember nothing of that. I just remember my goal and I seen it and that's it. I don't remember their kit. I'll have to Google it. Yeah, it's a, that's a big moment to, to forget. But, you know, you were... That, like, what do you mean? <laughs> to forget? I remember the goal going <laughs> in. I was just looking at the ball. <laughs> I, was, I don't want to remember nothing else. How, how was your goal like? Uh, I just remember I had it, then I shifted it to my right, right footed. I managed to shift it and just went bottom corner. Mm. A low bottom corner. And then I was just like, oh. Like, I think I, at the time I played it off like, oh, yeah. Like <laughs> but in my head, <laughs> I was gassed. Big moment, big moment. Now everyone can say they scored in the Champions League, innit? So Yeah. Um, so, you know, you feature a few times after this uh, for Arsenal. What do you think was the missing piece why, you know, it just didn't work out there and you ended up moving on? Um, it was more behind the scenes issues that obviously I can't really talk about. It, but, yeah, I, I don't, it was never anything to do with the football so yeah, yeah that's what ends up happening yeah what can you do in these kind of political it's the politics yeah basically but it had nothing to do with football i enjoyed the football down there obviously it's my style of play keeping the ball dribbling but yeah it had nothing to do with the football yeah so how, how did you feel moving on um especially it wasn't for football reasons like how did you feel did you feel like something that you know, I'm going to have to do and, you know, hopefully I prove them wrong in whatever it is, you know. No, I just thought, OK, it's a new, like a new beginning, I guess. Uh, I'm moving on. Um, luckily for me, though, when I moved on to Birmingham, that's the team that I ended up going to, most of the girls that I played with, like at academy level, um, were at Blues. So there was Kirsten Lynette, who's currently at um, Liverpool. There was Began Sargent, who was at Bristol. There was Mel Lawley, again, at Liverpool. Um, and I was going over there, and I was living with them anyway, so I knew of them. It wasn't, I wasn't just joining a whole new team. I knew people there, so that was good. For more content like this, like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.